Okay, so we went to the Stephen F. Austin plant sale in Nacogdoches just this weekend, and we have a haul. <laughs> so I thought I would go through and uh, talk about everything that we got. So I'll start off over here. My husband got some irises. Looks like they are, if I can do it the right way here, uh, red velvet, is that right? Red velvet Elvis. And then peaches and wine. So Louisiana Isis, we'll put them down by our ponds. I think they're more of a ruddy, reddish orange color. This is a cucurma, um, yellow turmeric. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna put that in my edible garden. Very excited about these two. They're two native Echinacea sanguinea. Uh, very common in East Texas, in the Pinelands. Um, it's just really hard. You don't really see them in cultivation very often. You can buy seeds sometimes, but not very often so picked up a couple of those very excited about this this is a um clinopodium Ger Ger georgianum georgia savory mint family um and it's considered i think pretty um endangered or imperiled in its normal range but i think it's an obviously in cultivation and um very excited about that um, i'm not sure how much bigger it gets so i'm gonna have to read about where exactly uh, I'm going to put it so I can know how it's going to do. Over here, just waking up, is Storm Cloud um, Amsonia, Tabor Monday, Montana. Just waking up. Which is odd because the native ones were blooming two years ago about this time out when I was hiking. So, kind of curious about that. Over here, we've got some flocks. This is Texas trailing flocks. Uh, there you go. And it is a endangered species. Obviously in cultivation, this is grown by the fine folks at the Piney Woods uh, Native Plant Center in Stephen Foston and in Nacogdoches. So they put them out for folks to, <laughs> to buy so you don't go out and poach them. Uh, it's actually pretty hard to find. They are very specialized sandy habitats. Usually going to find them um, yeah, it's, um, it's hard to find. They're very hard to find, but excited to have these. Also excited about these Carex Texensis, Texas Sedge. I love sedges. I think they're highly, sedges are highly underutilized in garden landscapes. Um, they just offer a lot of nice ground cover. Uh, a lot of them stay green through the winter here. So you're not looking at just bare earth. <laughs> So I'm probably going to divide these up and um, put them in the garden. Then my husband got four, uh, I call them Sabine coneflowers, but they're uh, the rough leaf coneflower, Rebecca scabifolia. Also a very hard to find plant. Also kind of uh, imperiled because they inhabit bog areas in East Texas and Western Louisiana. And bog habitats are pretty uncommon like pitcher plant bogs that sort of thing um so yeah luckily folks are growing them out to sell to people and we grabbed four um for our we're working on creating a bog but also we're gonna put one on our pond, pond shoreline uh, back up here i've got uh this is solidega odora um anise scented goldenrod or anise leaf goldenrod um I'm just gonna throw this in my flower bed. I like golden rods, they're really good in the fall. I'm excited about this one. This is Pycnanthium Cunifolium, uh, narrow leaf mountain mint. I have, um, uh, I think it's Albes, Al, 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 Albesans. Al, I'm gonna have to butcher that. It's, it's the white leaf mountain mint um, and it does really well, but I'm excited to try this. And it does, it smells like mint, it's lovely. And this is Hyptus alata clustered bush mint. This is also a pond plant, but I think you can grow it in more, um, if you've got a wetter soil, if you keep things pretty moist, you could probably grow it in a flower bed. But um, we actually, there, I've seen some growing natively along our pond shoreline down towards our dam, but I, I've tried to put seeds and spread them down here, but it hasn't taken, so I figured I'm gonna try a plant. And this is also a cool plant. It looks like I might be able to divide it too, I'm not sure. Mimulus elatus, sharp winged monkey flower. It has cute little purple petals. And the ones I've seen growing wild, it's been tra a trailing kind of plant. Um, but this one looks like it's had a lot of fertilizer and care. 
and it's doing a lot better. Um, and I was gonna put this down in our pond shore line too, but to be honest, I'm not sure. Um, I, may, I may put this in the flower bed, but again, I need to see if deer are gonna destroy this or not uh, before I do that. Um, but yeah, so we have a good haul from the Stephen of Austin plant sale. Highly recommended if you're in Texas or Western Louisiana uh, to make the drive over there. They do them, this is a spring plant sale. I think they do a fall one. I've never been to that one. Uh, but they have all sorts of great native plants. They do have some tropicals and things you might find in other um, nurseries as well. Um, but it's really their native plants are where it's at. All right, so that's it for this little uh, video.